that's the boy will be making fast shortly that's called SBM single boy mooring this is our ship and this is the boy where we are going to make fast here it is important to understand why it is done because this is considered to be safest way of cargo operations for ports which are exposed to sea and swell in this we avoid use of any mooring lines which are prone to chafing and damage so this is pretty much like anchoring onto the boy That's the boat which is gonna pass us the messenger line from that floating buoy in water. In case vessel loses all power and needs to be towed out at sea, then this is the same procedure which will be followed for picking up emergency towing chain from the tug. We are picking up messenger line which has a chain at the end of it. We have a designated separate drum for picking up SBM chain. It is much safer like this. This is a tongue type chain stopper with SWL204 tons. Chain is perfectly in place on stopper and we are putting securing pin. Let's see what we have on the SBM. This is the chain for from which the ship is anchored. And here we can see two manifold. One has the hose which will be connected to the ship for cargo operations and other manifold is blanked apart from that it has ladder a solar system for recharging its lights and some ventilators currents and wind from bow is pushing the vessel away from this buoy which will result in some weight coming onto this chain slowly and gradually Beautiful lady is now riding onto this chain. We are at the manifold now for the step 2 which is to connect the cargo hose. Crane operation, crane, crane has 6 movements, right, left, up and down on the hook and up and down on the boom. This is the view which a crane operator gets and these are the 3 levers for 6 movements. Hose handling rail, equipments use contains shackles, chains, slings and wire stoppers. At the end it will be tied to one of the strong points onto the rail. We are picking up cargo hose using the hose handling midship crane whose capacity is 10 tons. This is 
specialized very specialized and dangerous operation and that's why we always have shore crew for this connection as they are experienced and they are doing it on a regular basis Cargo hose is always float and they have a light fitted for indicating its location in night and they are of super strong quality. Now the hose is almost in correct position. Once it is positioned, it's not a difficult task to connect using nuts and bolts. Finally, manifold is collect con connected and its weight is being held by our ship's crane. Last step, we need to give a line to the tug from this center lead. We'll be using either of the winches onto the warping, warping drum in order to pick up the tug's line. This tug will continue to pull us from stern during entire cargo operations. Mm -hmm. 